Yes, sports fans, we are back for the latest match of Round 5 of the Brew Bowl, a Blood Bowl 7s tournament proudly sponsored by Bugman 7X. We have a massive game for you this evening as two player-packed fan-favorite teams go up against one another in a contest of strong positionals versus poorly armored linemen. I hope the apothecary stocked up on extra unguents because I suspect the injury bins will be overflowing tonight. Our home team for this evening are the Leichberg Knights. The Knights are one of a few teams in the competition left that are still technically undefeated. They're currently running at a record of 1-3-0 and zero, thanks to a win last round against the Slow Thicket Pantry Raiders, in which three halflings left the pitch on stretches. A win tonight for the Knights would be huge, cut upon them from ninth place last round, all the way up to a guaranteed fifth place this round, possibly even fourth. Coming in to prevent the Knights from reaching any higher tonight, we have the Axel or Coadles. The Quaddles are also technically undefeated this season, also running at 1-3-0, and zero, though their win came at the start of the season and it's been a sea of draws ever since. Of course, last round's match for the Quaddles was the infamous first nil-all draw in Blue Brawl history. The match also took its toll on the Quaddles with a pair of injuries, but also the devastating news that their Croxagore, not Twinee, would miss this match thanks to some choice sounds he uttered about the team's sponsor. Before we get to the match, however, it's time to have a chat with both our team managers. To that end, let me introduce you and welcome you Lord Hunger and Mo Jadden. Pleasure to be here. Great to be here, Wilhelm. Lord Hunger, let's start with you. As fans of the Knights will know, last round Clive Dykeward achieved what had not been done in three seasons of the Brew Bowl. He managed to intercept an opposition pass, giving him a special place in our record books. Early this round, however, we had a second interception, this time by Deal Gardner of the Raiders. Does it diminish Eichwald's record at all now to share this with a halfling, especially as it was the same halfling that ended up scoring in the drive in which Kleist made a spectacular interception? Um, no, we, we really try not to think too much about the gutter dwarves. I mean, they do what they do. Um, let's just say they, there's only ever one first, and it's Kleist. Over to you, Mo. I think that fans need to hear a bit more about the situation with Not Tiny. Despite the occasional boneheaded play, the Croxagor is a favourite among your fans, and every game which he does not play is felt by both the team and its supporters. How tough does Tiny's absence make it for you, and, and have you managed to plan around it? Uh, it definitely hurts quite a bit not having Tiny here. Uh, I do think we have a decent supplement with uh, bringing back Les Brutal Bot Kick, who had uh, helped carry essentially uh, carry the team in the playoffs last, last season. Uh, Though it's not quite the same. Uh, usually Tiny was just a great big centerpiece that for, you know, guarding. But uh, And also recruiting uh, Crad, what was it? Crad Boulder. Bouldergut, uh, who I had a run in with the uh, Marauders game back in the, I believe it was the uh, Giant round last year. So I, I got some ideas. Uh, we'll see if they come into play or if it even remotely works, as everything is always a toss-up. Lord Hunger, it's worth knowing that the team you're fielding tonight is only one team member short of the league cap, making the Knights the second most expensive team in the competition. You've still got plenty of money in reserve, so I'm told, and given that we have a near record turnout in the stands, you're bound to pick up plenty more regardless of tonight's result. What I want to ask is, where do you take the team from here? Uh, we save the money for next season. We make sure that we hit the cap next season as well. Um, really, I mean, we're just saving the money for, for the inevitable losses we're going to suffer. I mean, the thralls are going to die. It's just a matter of fact. Um, fortunately, it hasn't been at our hands this season, uh, which is a welcome relief. I think by this time last season, we'd lost six players to death. Uh, so, you know, definitely much doing much better this time. I think we've only lost two dead players this season. So, you know, we get onwards and upwards, uh, save the money, see what we can achieve. And Mo, given the extremely high value of your competition tonight, the league has awarded the Coadal significant inducement funds in order to equalise the match. As you mentioned before, you've used the majority of these funds to employ two mercenaries, the ever popular Les Brittle block kick, and of course one of last season's favourites, Crab Boldergut. Do you think that those mercenaries will help you equalise with the Knights, or is there still more work to be done? Uh, I think it will definitely help to... Uh almost equalize i don't know if we're quite there uh their strength well that's just, we're about even on as far as strength advantage uh though of course little skanks can only do so much as their own i was hoping i'm hoping that the less brutal block block kick can uh help assist with that uh we're also down one blocking blocker uh but but uh <laughs> but the new hire uh garl ich ref is uh Seems like he might be able to good at keeping them back. 
defending him, so to speak. Now, gentlemen, we finally have some more details about how next round Lyman novelty round is going to work. Each team will get to field a single positional for the match and all of their linemen. If a team doesn't have enough linemen to make up the seven players, journeymen will replace the rest. Inducements will be calculated based on the new team, and although mercenaries can still be hired, they will be limited to experienced linemen. Lord Hunger, you've got quite a few linemen, several of which have already acquired new skills. Do you think this will give you a substantial edge over an opponent that may be relying on journeymen to make up the numbers? Probably not, since my rules tend to be worse than everyone else's linemen. I mean, if I'm playing up against gladiators, any of the elven teams, I'm going to be at a disadvantage here. I mean, the thralls, their bodies on the field, but generally they're snacks for the vampires. And if I only have one vampire, that's a lot of food and not a lot of, uh, not a lot of, well, I suppose, yeah, not a lot of real meat to the team. We'll but the inducement we'll should should level it out somewhat. Hopefully, hopefully, I'm just going to have to be careful which of my, you know, which of my positionals I pick so I don't burn through all the inducements as well because my positionals tend to be quite expensive as well. And a question for you, Mo, given the limitation of mercenaries being only linemen next round, and knowing that managers have been given a mid-season opportunity to go out and recruit new mercenaries into the league, are you expecting a sudden surge of new linemen mercs in the Brew Bowl roster? I think so. There's definitely been uh, a... Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? A hesitation on creating new mercs. Not creating, sorry. Of hiring or scouting potential mercs. Uh... So I do think a lot of it's going to be suddenly coming up linemen. But uh, I, you know, I, I'm certainly not looking forward to it. The skinks aren't really the most durable of bunch. They are definitely the fastest of the scrawny guys, but uh, it's definitely going to be an uphill battle for me, especially because my linemen are much more expensive than most. Lord Hunger, the Knights are not high on the leaderboards when it comes to fouling, but it's something you generally haven't shied away from in the past. Last time the Knights played the Quadrilles was when the Quadrilles eliminated your team from the competition in last season's quarterfinals. In that match, not a, in that match, not a single foul play was made. Do you plan to continue to honour Mo Jadden's pacifist agreement, or may we see some dirty action on the field tonight? Um, I'd like to say that Mo is probably the only coach who I respect. So as a such, he has made it quite clear that he will not be fouling. I see no reason to foul around and find out. Mo, there's no doubt that the odds are stacked against you tonight, but as I've just said, last time these two teams played, the Quaddles emerged victorious 2-1. Does the team have it in it in them to once more show the Knights the door? I think we can. I think we can be able to sneak in some guys through there to get to the field. The touchdown. All right, thank you both for your thoughts. Before we head down to the game, let me ask, Ward Hunger, is there anything else that you would like to add? Uh, yes, uh, I would just like to point out that my uh, home t my home stadium here, uh, through the reputation of Spectacle, we've had a momentary sponsor who's provided additional funds for both teams, and they've asked me to say a few words about their products. Uh, so I'd like to introduce to the to the world of Blood Bowl the uh, Steel Chair Company, the choice of a discerning Blood Bowl enthusiast who cares more about style than functionality. The steel chairs are the epitome of aesthetic extravagance. They may not be suitable for sitting, but boy, do they sparkle. Perfect for your Blood Bowl arena, the sideline show-off area, or just to relax upon around the home. Warning, steel chairs are not suitable for sitting purposes. These chairs are purely ornamental and may collapse under any weight. Use at your own risk. So why settle for the practical seating when you can have these marvels that are sure to impress your fans and opponents alike? Warning, steel chairs are not made from steel and do not classify legally as chairs. Use at your own risk. Unleash your decorative flair and make bold statement with the steel chair company's collection of low concussive but high shine chairs. Because when it comes to Blood Bowl, it's all about appearances. The steel chair company for the spectacle of it. There you have it, folks. And what about you, Mo? Any other pearls of wisdom for us this evening? I think I'm going to buy myself a steel chair. <laughs> All right, as I said at the top of the show, uh, what you're about to watch is I'm sure will be one of the biggest matches of the competition this year as two massive te massive and experienced teams known for lightly armoured linemen do battle on Nuffle's sacred field. I suspect scores could be high on both sides and the league statisticians are probably going to need to have extra inkwells on hand. 
You, you get to enjoy it all from the comfort of your own home right here on Cabal Vision. So sit down and let's go watch some Blood Bowl. All right, James jinxed it. it or sorry, Wilhelm jinxed it. It's going to be a low scoring game. <laughs> low scoring game with no casualties. It's going to be one of those games. Sorry. The tour play is going to be a zero, dust zero. Bowl. It's going to be nothing happens. But I have to, I have to say, Mike, that this week the gas lift failed in my computer chair here. So maybe oh. rather than buying a new computer chair, I should buy a steel chair. <laughs> um, it's like, what is the steel chair made out of? Is it just painted plaster? Is that... <laughs> Whatever the WWE chairs are made out of, because it's certainly not steel. Yeah, I'm guessing pla <laughs> plastic, plastic and aluminium, probably. Sorry, aluminium for your benefit, Mono. Yeah. Um, no, I got, no, I got you. <laughs> all right. So let's uh, let's do some rolling. We'll start off with uh, a corporate roll if you wanted to try and get more funds or a sponsor. Mike, do you want to do a corporate roll? Um, nah. No. What about you, Pondo? That's terrible. I'll try it. Sure. I like more money. Uh, that's only a six, so no. That is okay. So you cannot get a sponsor today, regardless. I didn't want a sponsor anyway. That got me in the mess I am now. All right. Uh, Mike, do you want to roll promotion or the D3? I'll go promotion. All right. Got a plus one there, so eight will be two. And Pondo, what about you? I got a minus one. Uh I'll just roll it straight. Okay. Well wait, 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 we'll do the D3 when um when we get started into a play. Uh and then finally, Mike, do you want to do a training roll? Yes. Plus three. That's enough. Who would like to give pro two? Um I think we'll give it to Lana. Let me just check, make sure she hasn't already got it. She doesn't. Hey, Lana. And what about you, Pondo? You can refresh that now. Uh, I'll try it. I got plus two. Uh, nope. not quite nine. Nope. But, but no, That's no, fine. no loner though. Um. All right. So we can start the match in tour play now. And then Pondo, you can do your uh, D three roll. Uh, one. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. I think I'm still. Am I still the highest with the? Uh, you'd be equal now. Well, I mean, just in general. Yeah. I think I'm still at six because I haven't lost anything really. All right. Let's just uh, roll a d6 each for the weather, starting with you, Mike. One d6. It'll be spicy. It's a one. I don't think so. Oh, it could be. Ooh, ooh, it could be. Uh, yep. I guess uh, if it rolls two ones, right, or one or two. It rolls oh, two ones. Oh, ooh, this okay. is good on the on the graveyard one. Okay, no, angry just... locals. Um, so both coaches roll off. The coach that rolls the lowest randomly selects one of their players from among those on the pitch. That player is immediately removed from the pitch and placed in reserve box, where they hide until the end of the game, or until this weather condition is replaced by another. If the roll-off results in the tie, do not roll again. Instead, both coaches must randomly select a player from the, to hide from the locals. Um, okay, so let me change the, on the table. Let me change the weather to angry, angry mob. All right, so um, which I think they're There's all a lot of people with pitchforks and torches in the stands. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yes. Uh, so um, it's just a straight roll-off. So Mike, roll a d6. Oh come on, come on, come on! Not another one. Two. It's a two. Okay, oh, Pondo, roll a d6. That's one more than a one. It's a two. Oh, okay. both, both teams get a play us. Oh, no. Okay, so, Mike, I'm going to start from Kleist going across to Oleg. I'm just going to roll a d16 and re-roll if it's above the number of players. That'll be above. Again. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That is your guard piece. Oh, of yeah. course. Yep. Yeah. So. Oh, that's... I'm going to put him in the in the prison cell just so we know he's not actually a reserve. Yeah. Okay. And Ponder, you've got I think nine players. You do so. Like nine. Yeah. They're all d sixteen. Which side are you going from? Sorry. Left to right. I mean, looking at the players. Um, front on. Roll again. Four is Porter Blockick the thrice. Uh, can oh. I roll that? So. Can I use a manager roll to re -roll it's, it's it's not uh okay well let's see who's rolling it let me see <laughs> um i'd say yes go for it if you want to use it there yeah if you want to, if you want to use it, i'm happy with that i've i've got no problem with that okay right. uh yeah i think so because that's that because that, that that's real for me but... <laughs> uh okay it's uh crab boulder instead that's probably not much better 
no, no, no. Eh. Well, that's unfortunate. The weather may change. And, and that stays until the weather changes? Until the weather changes or the end of the match. But just one thing to note, cold, cold. if we roll up the same weather again yep. and the weather changes, we do this again. Yeah, another, another play, play goes. gets hidden. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm hoping for a weather change. Got it. Weather change in us to not roll double one. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. That was a hectic oh, start to the match. A way to roll one into a one for me, essentially. All right. So, Mike, you should be able to. Uh, so, did it, did it actually generate what the reputation money? Like, what does it show? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Reputation? It generated a three on two d6. Okay. okay. Cool. So, we'll do, do your desperate measure. we're using what you roll. Yeah. So, do your desperate measure and your coach, and I need to add on money for you after the match. Just measure part time assistant coach. It's the brain in the jar again. Yep. Okay. And then once you're done, Pondo, you should be able to add your two mercs and your uh, desperate measure. And then I need to roll for the desperate measure. Yep. So we'll start with Mike. So you, do you have help comes at last as well, Mike? Yes. Yep. So roll the d6 for that first. Okay. Yes. So you'll have two different measures. Do you, do you have my friend from medical school? No. Okay, so first ever measure, Mike. Come on, come on. Not grudge match. Uh, that's a uh, set piece. Good. That's and always done well. Second one. Uh, is you dope. So Ooh. who do you want to give plus one agility or plus one strength to? Can I think about that for a bit? Yep, no worries. Pondo, uh, you get a different measure. Do you want to also, do you have, um, let's no. say, no, you don't, okay. So I got seven. Seven is one of the better ones, not quite a spell. It is. Is it banana? Banana pill? skin. Yep, it's got a banana Ooh, skin. Ooh, yep. banana skin. That's... I was either wanting a scroll, actually, I didn't really want a scroll. I either wanted doped or the banana peel, to be honest with you. Yep. Um, you should see how the, how the, Scroll went in, in Arthur's game. Well, I, the scroll <laughs> failed me last season at the, the finals, so I decided to take uh, desperate measures instead of actually taking less brutal block kick. I was like, man, I shouldn't shouldn't have him as a crutch. <laughs> okay, uh, Pondo, do you want heads or tails? Uh, you know what? I want to roll a d d six. This, this worked the first time I did. Okay, it, nice. Because I failed it every time. Uh, we're going to go tails. Tails. Okay, Mike flipped the coin. Okay, I'm um, sorry. I'm just going to give Otto yep. plus one strength. Okay, cool. All right, well, I'll do that while you flip the coin. Uh, heads, okay, so... I've won one coin flip. So, Mike... For the non-skirmish games. Picking or receiving? Um, I'll receive. Okay, so, Pondo, you're still to kick off. All right, time to cheat. Need to take one player off the field. Uh, do I? Yeah, no, I have nine. Okay. Uh, okay. Do ball dropper. He's actually on the bench. Nice. Did I? Oh, okay. That was my accident. <laughs> Um, that way. Okay. All right, Mike, over to you. Oh. There we go. I need to. I need to remember to do my roll for the messed up lines. Oh, to what to get the stadium? Yeah, I've I've missed it the past like three games, I think. I spent the two hundred fifty thousand on that last year. Well, I mean, do you want to do it now while you remember? So, because it, sure. it won't it won't affect this game. So, what's what's your uh, yeah. it's a promotion? I believe it's minus one. Uh, okay, so that, that that lets you roll on the chart. So roll a d six to see if it's the uh, the one you wanted. Okay. Or and that's on um, uh, rough and ready stadiums. Unclear markings. Oh, you, you okay, got it. Well, okay. All right. No worries. So <laughs> after, the, after the match, we'll fix that up. So okay, that would be excellent. <laughs> I don't have to play against that either, unless I get into the into the, the, the um the finals. Finals. All right. Uh, Pondo, where are you kicking the ball? Oh, obviously. 
We're gonna where's the ball at? Here it is. I'm gonna do it right there. Very nice. You can pitch it, so roll your TV out. Uh, three to eight would be either, uh, uh it's one, sorry, it's one or, uh, there, so, there or there. We'll do there. All right, and then 2d6 for the kickoff event. I'm actually hoping for a change of weather, I'll be honest with you. Uh, no, it is in fact a, get the ref, so both teams get a free bribe inducement. That's... The locals lynch for ref not being able to <laughs> find the people they're looking for. Um... And then uh, D8 to see where the ball goes. Hoping for a nice three or four. Uh, two also two. works. So, first to there. All right, Mike. Yeah, that's just fantastic. <laughs> you can start your turn into a play. Oh, okay. Damn it. I was hoping for either a change. I was really hoping for a change of weather because that just, that, that hurt. <laughs> My, I should have just not used. I should have just taken port of block kick. I should have known. You were gonna roll something worse. Oh, what we do? Sometimes I thought you were counting from my left to the right, and <laughs> that wasn't the case at all. Okay. Uh... You gonna you're gonna come bully me? I'm trying to guy. figure out. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to figure. It's, it's going to have to be the big guy to try and get to that ball. Uh, and even you, if I do, doing two go for it. Yeah. Because he only has five speed, doesn't he? Yeah. 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 That's one big guy I thought would also have six feet, six movement, but would have been nice. It's less brutal, got. Block and guard. Okay, we're squaring up. Go for it. Plus. <laughs> like to re roll more? Oh, I don't really have a choice, do I? What yeah, you use up the right. re-roll already. All right, nice. Okay, it wasn't a one into a one. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah we'll save that for something <laughs> that really matters. It'll be, it'll be for the next rush, don't worry. Christ can't get to the ball. <laughs> so he's just going to move. Yep. So bloodlust. It's good. Adelhard's going to blitz right blocked kick. Yep. Bloodlust, oh. we are two plus. Bloodlust. It's good. Yes. One, two, three. This is dangerous. Go for Go it. Go for it. And down oh, he goes. Oh. How many guys? Man three roll? <sighs> no. Okay. No, you can nice. go on the floor. All right, armor roll, Pondo. Nope. Nope. And that's a turnover. Interesting. All right, go in for the foul now. <laughs> play turn into a play. Uh, let's see. I think, uh, Mm. The funny thing with the weather result as well is that it wouldn't, even if you like get a new drive, it 
the player couldn't come out because you'd have to set up, kick off, and then get the change weather. So they're guaranteed to be out for this drive and the next. Yeah. At least till... No, because the ladder carries over to the other half, doesn't it? It does, yeah. 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 Mm. What was that guy in front of me at? He's dauntless. Okay, that's aggravating somewhat. Well, it doesn't, and it's it doesn't apply in defense. You'll squish him. No, no, yeah, no. It's, it's yeah. a potential problem if I don't squish him. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, it's... I'm going to block with right block kick into Edmund. Good ice. You're going to drop him on the spot or push him back? Um, push him back. Armor? Armor? Not through. No. Not through. Of course. Um... Let's do I just realized it's actually a bad spot for right block kick, but uh he'll be fine. <laughs> That's a later problem. I'm gonna move Butta Hansa over to Kleist. One, two, three, four. Going to move dodge slip uh one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Going to a block with less brutal block kick into auto. Yep, two dice. Drop him on the spot. Drop him on the spot. I'm roll. Ah, uh, that is true. Uh, Injury. Stun. Ah, uh, stun. I'm waiting for my ultimate betrayal from uh, <laughs> Lord Hunger. <laughs> you have me in a false insecurity of not not to foul against me. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to. Blitz with Porta Block Kick into Kleist. Yep. So one, two, three, four, five. You two dice, five versus uh, four. I think five, six. No, that'd make me have to go for it, wouldn't it? Yep. Yeah. So two dice. Push. Push. Uh, I will push him there and not follow up maybe get him away from his snackage a little bit i don't know then i'm gonna move garlic Gar sorry garl ick Breath. Two, three, four, five, six. I guess now I just need to try to get the ball. One, two, three. Three plus. Three plus. Some ones. Some ones. Right, he's got the ball. Hmm. 
Now it's three, right? Yep. Um, four, five, six, seven, eight. Would actually there is really no point of doing a leap. Leap works is I can jump over that empty space, right? It does, yes. Would I take the plus? It would just be a three plus, plus. one it, difficulty. It, no, it would just be a three plus, but we know you would you couldn't use dodge reroll. Right. So if it so either way, I'd just do one yeah. one roll. Yeah, actually, move, move, running through is better than leaping because you at least you yeah. get dodge reroll then. So one, two. Well, that's that's up to five now. So yeah. Oh, sorry, five. Yep, you passed. Good. All right. Five, six, seven. Uh, eight. Hmm. I think either way you can get to me. Okay, movement of six. The other guy's movement of eight. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah, no, I think that's my bed I lay in. All right. All right, well done. Turn. Okay. Yep. What do you, Mike? That took a long turn, longer turn than I thought it would, but of course, <laughs> I had to think a lot more stuff. Mm -hmm, it's okay. <clears throat> Okay. Banana peel. Okay. I'm roll. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's true. That is a stun. He turns over. And that will be a turnover. Turnover, and I take it that's a score. <laughs> hey, you could stall if he wants to. He could if he yeah. wants to. But wherever he goes I... to stall, I can get to him. <laughs> <laughs> no, the only thing I really would want to do is try to knock down and take out Kleist. Go for it. So, uh, one, two, three, four. That's his movement. <laughs> uh, I just have to hope you roll double skull. <laughs> well, I'll have a chance to re-roll that because I have. We uh, plan for this. Is it worth it? You won't. You won't get to three dice. You need to get nine strength to get to three dice. No, I no, yeah, no, I'm not worried about. I'm no, I'm thinking of is trying to get the knockdown and armor break worth it. You only have nine armor value. Yeah, for class. Uh, and that's your passer. So that's the guy. That's going to cause me most problems. Though you already have set piece, so if you're going to make a throw and pass it and get it, you're going to get it anyway. Uh, yeah, I'm going to blitz with the right block kick into Kleist. Right. So one, two, three. Two dice. Two dice. Yeah. Got him. There. Uh, Armor break. Nope. No. All right, then I foul him. No. <laughs> uh, and that's pretty much it. So I'm just going to go get the touchdown. So with Leaper Flatter. Nothing I could really do there, was there? No, I I had immediately forgotten until the start of your turn. I was like, oh, wait, I got banana peel. I'm just going to leave him out here. <laughs> All right. So all the players... Mike, you need to roll to see whether your dope uh, passes out or not on a one or a two. No, he's fine. So, Pondo, you are setting up to kick off. Yeah. Uh, man, I don't even know what my arrangement was last time.
Is it a bad idea to place a piece on the trap door? Uh, no, because anything that would trigger the trap door to be opened um, is when it, when a player enters the square. Okay. Which is the desperate, which is the um, creator nuffle. Right. That that's right. the only thing I was thinking of yeah. when I'm doing that is. So it's only if it's entering the square, not if they're yeah. already on it. Yeah, it's different if you've got the um the stadium with the um uh uncovered trap doors. There, it's just treated like a hole. Oh, okay. Yep. They're just there permanently, essentially. That's right. Yep. Okay. All right. Here we go. Where's the ball going, Pondo? Uh, screw it, right there. Deviate. Uh, that would be a mulligan. Or, yeah, because yeah, it goes. Uh, yeah, mulligan it, so. So, Mike, do you want to reconfigure now? No. No, okay. There. Yep. You do that roll? Yep. So, either there or there? I uh, will do there. All right, and I then. It makes a lot of difference. 2d6 for kickoff. Come on, weather. Come on, high kick. Uh, no, it is a solid defense. So, Pondo, you can rearrange 1d3 plus one of your players. Which can include putting, like, the kicker on the line. So you can rearrange four players. So that still has to be a legal setup. It has to be a legal setup? Yeah. So you still have to have three on okay. the front line and no more than one on each side zone. And they can't go past this line of scrimmage, That's right, yeah. I assume. Yeah. Um, eh, why not? That won't bite me in the butt. All right. And then D8, see where the ball bounces. To me. Uh, what? Right where I was going to kick it. All right. Mike, you can start your turn three into a play. Okay. Okay, let's see what we can do this time. Uh, it doesn't really matter because it's it, the blood loss is at the end of the turn, right? It has to be next to a throw. Yeah. 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 Okay, so, so it doesn't matter if pushing away. Yeah. yeah. So it doesn't matter if you push away from your your food, essentially. Oh, it it does if you keep me based because then if I block and I'm not standing next to anyone, there's a chance that I'll end my turn. As soon yeah. As I oh, okay. Blocking. You would have to essentially blitz to ensure the safety. Gotcha. Okay, so Kleist is going to move. Yep. That's good. Oh, he super moves. Ball. Two plus. Got yep. the ball. He's got blood, doesn't he? Gonna go for it? Nah. No, he's, he's only got pro at the moment. That's good. Is all their stuff secondary? Um, for who? Well, I guess uh, as far as skills, I'm guessing Kleist has what strength and he has passing? access to strength, passing, and agility in general. He has yeah. access to pretty much everything. Uh, no, throw oh. throw with uh, agility, general passing, and strength secondary. Ah, yeah. oh, okay. So it wouldn't be hard to get the the blodge. Yeah. The blitzers have everything. Well, so blitzers don't have passing, but they've got agility, agility, general strength, and no secondary. Going to move Sonia. She's good. Going to move Lana.
going to move at all hard. Yeah, I'm blitzed yet, so he's not blitzing. Okay, we can declare the blitz for the plus to one. For twice to blitz me. Yeah, but I mean, he could, he, he could still declare the blitz for the plus one though. Blitz so. by not blitzing. Yeah. All right. We don't do that battle tech crap here, <laughs> mate. <laughs> okay. Uh, in turn. Okay. Mm. Just end that into a play, Mike. There's no way I'm going to be able to get to your runner, your thrower this time. Not with that attitude, you're not. <laughs> uh, it'd be a long ball. Stunt. Play, He's actually. like a dodge on threes, no matter what. Uh. Oh, no, I didn't put Leap of Splatter in the right spot. So if Leap of Splatter, Splatter was in the other spot there, I could do a 4 plus Leap into a Blitz. Two dice down. It would be blitz. two dice down. <laughs> <laughs> I can make a real spice to make it three dice down, I suppose. <laughs> see? See? That's the attitude. <laughs> I, I'm not in. Uh, I'm already going to lose, so might as well have fun with it mode yet. <laughs> okay, so I I need to break some faces here. Um. Okay. Going to do. Oh boy, oh boy. Or block kick one, two. Um, you have sidestep. Interesting. Okay. Uh, garlic breath is going to go there. Less brutal block kick is going to go one, two, three, there. I'm going to. You're the Donald's piece over there. Who's this guy? Oh, he's got strip off. That's yeah. right. I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to blitz with right block kick into Ed. Nice. Cut him. I'm just going to put him down there. Had to follow up. Not not going to try to uh, surfboard. Nope. Uh, nope. If only. And then you have me in some cheeky spots here. Uh, I can't do anything about your VAR, guys. That guy is just going to stay here. All I have is that he is not by anybody important. Unless I do a crazy play and get all my guys to encircle your, your vampire in the back. I think what I'm going to do is... Do Leap of Splatter there. And Dodge Slip of stays there. A lot of hands are there. That's everybody. I I technically hadn't moved off yeah. Slippy yet. I'm just considering if that's actually the best spot or if I should leave him be. I'm gonna move him here. No, there. There's probably the best spot actually. Mm. 
No, I've been there. Are you sure? Don't play. Don't, don't play this game. <laughs> well done. All sold. Go for the bids. Yeah. James, you barely give me advice. So if that's <laughs> <laughs> when you second guess me, that really hits me. I was like, wait, is he kidding me? No, you're second guessing yourself. I'm just trying to verify that you're, uh, <laughs> that you made a decision. Yes. Okay. My turn? Yes. Okay. Eey. Really wish I had a strength five guy right now. Does Crad not have like Unchannel Fury or anything like that? No, he's got, he's got no negative traits for the the one that gives you the plus two mighty blow has no negative. It removes Bowhead and gives you no negative trait back. So it essentially makes you Morgan Thorg. Yeah. Interesting. I just thought that was a glitch or something in the system, but yeah, I even okay. check I even check the errata to make sure. Adelhard's going to blitz butter hands up. Okay. No, oh, my poor boy. He's good. Three dice. Push. Got dodge. Pushing to the sure you don't want to go to both down? That's... Still three dice. I'll use the both down with Juggernaut, so it's still a push. Okay. <laughs> Three dice in the follow-up. Shucks. Got him. Has, has to go there. Has to go there, does it? Okay. And then armor. No. Oh. <laughs> Poor guy. He threw some sand in his eyes. Sonia is going to hypnotize to quarter block kick the thrice. Oh, two plus. Yep. Yep. Uh, did you discuss. do your bloodlust? Ah, oh, that's a good point. Yes. Bloodlust. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, I was hoping so, that was going to be a one. <laughs> Edmund stands up. I figure why you hypnotize them. Lana is going to move. Screen. Go for it. Yep. Go for it. Screen. I see. Clice is going to throw a pass. So, that last. Is that piece or no? No. Okay, so you, you want to pro that one? I'll try pro. No, no. so he's got to, he's going to, well, that's going to go off once he's thrown. Do you have to declare set piece before you declare the? Yeah, to declare it when you activate the player. Yeah. So he's activate now, so now I can't use it. Okay. I'll try to help you. Yeah, I didn't want to waste set piece yet. Listen, you either use it immediately, you're going to forget about it at the very end. You're like, 
Dang it, I could have used that. That's why I used a banana peel immediately, even though I probably should have saved it. So if I go to there, I'm going to have to do a past chart here, sorry. Just put, put, in, so where you, right. put, put in where you want to do it from. So past chart. I say that it's, you're going to be able to reach that cool. spot regardless. So Otherwise, it's, it's going to be least. So it's going to be the same as the long. So it's going to be a it's going to be a three plus re-rollable then I would say because yeah. I know you're having an accurate so it would be a four plus re-rollable because he's base two plus one for the mark plus one for the distance. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. All right. Okay, it's accurate. Is it caught on a two plus? Yes. Yeah. So you can can I interfere at all since he's right next to it, or is no, it only if you have it in front of it? You could be basically that you. So if I just, oh, I can do it. Show you how. If, that... if you were here or possibly there. here, so it has to be in front of the piece, not. So if you go, it. set as pass, set as thrower, and I go, set as pass target. I think it doesn't doesn't oh, okay. go over him. Yeah. yeah. So it so it'd have to be in either. Yeah the left of it or okay yeah all right okay so it's completion for Kleiss. yep i mean he's knocking down or has not henry oops so uh armor roll on henrik no there's no armor oh, that's right now so it's just an injury isn't it yeah but can't be more than ko'd stop uh, stop both i'll take the other guy's time yeah. too but... but your turn's still going Which only leaves Otto here. Otto there. Yep. You could do a one die block. That's about it. I guess you could also get away. Which is what I'm going to do. So we're going to move to here. Yep. Three plus. Three plus. Yep. It's one. Has he, has he blitzed this turn or not? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah he did. He did with uh, right, yeah. out of hold. That's right. That's it. All right. Okay. Turn four. I mean, you can get to her. So, mm -hmm. I, you know, it's it's not like I've put an impregnable field up here, but I've made it so at least you have to roll dice, which is the worst enemy of both of us. So. <laughs> uh... Hmm. I think the best bet's calls for a two die down against her. Just to say I tried. I'm going to a good way I can get a two dice on out of hard. I can get a one die at the very least, that's about it. I'm going to do a block with right block kick into Edmund. Yep, two dice. Poor Edmund. Yeah, I like that door. Let's go, do you? <laughs> it's going to get his ass there. kicked every single round. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's through. Uh, through injury. Uh, uh KO. Oh, KO. That works too. It's not stunning. Sorry, I just assume everybody's stunty. That's always you get hit with. <laughs> I've got the armor of a stunty, but you know. <laughs> Going to do less brittle block kick into auto. Be nice. Come on, double skull. There he goes. Drop him on the spot and push him back. I push him back. 
Ça marche. Uh, yeah. Oh boy. Can't brain. Nope. No. I'm going to... This is a dumb plan, but I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, staying up by the hands of. Yep. I'm going to dodge to the next space up there. Yep. Three plus. Six good. Yep. That's four. I should be, yes. Yeah, three plus. Uh, I'm going to block with a quarter block kick into Sonya. Yep. So, should be one Maybe dice. Two dice now. I, I could do it here. It's just, sorry. It's, just got uh, dodge. You dodge don't you? Yep. Uh, I'll have to let that pass through there. Um, uh, that's fine. I, I, I just now realize I probably could have just put butter hands over to Kalias, but that doesn't matter at this point. Uh... You dodge out garlic, have him blitz Lana. That's a funny thing you mentioned there with a five agility sword. <laughs> He'd have to dodge through a tackle zones, so, you know, he'd be rolling a let's, six uh, okay. by five. Let's do one, two, three, four, five, six. I could technically do it. I could technically do it. Uh <laughs> Okay, is a five up worse than two dice down? That's the real question here. Well, I don't know the math in my head. You can get my you can get me. you can get one dice in there quite easily with the two skinks. Yeah, because she's only strength three. Oh, yeah. she's only strength three, isn't yeah, she? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but she does have block. Yeah. The two dice down will be worse than. Yeah, you need box cast to knock her down. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I still need a six anyway. It was just I need double. Yeah, no, I guess you're right. It's a one in thirty six chance rather than just a one in six. All right, you convinced me. Do you dodge out one. Three plus. For the reroll. Dodge. There he goes. Nope, that was a dream. All right, I'm roll. That's through injury. That's unfortunate. This is done. Oh. So as a, as a bit of as a point of advice, Pondo, you should have moved Dodge Slipper first without dodging because he at least could have marked her and then and then blitzed yeah. with Legal Fighter. Yeah, I was thinking I didn't want to blitz with him because he would probably die, but now he okay. True. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Start your turn. No, he, it five. can still completely fail here because I have to roll. I get you yes. could roll one into yep. another one or yep. two. Yep. So and Blood then, well, I guess we'll start, start, start turn five. Start turn. Yep. Bloodlust to I move should... Lana. Yep. She's fine. Oh, no, you're good. Fine. <laughs> I say, I guess you could re roll a roll one and then re roll another one or two to not get the pro. Okay. Yeah. So record Lana's score. All right. That's the last of the uh, scoring we're going to get for the round. <laughs> For the match, that's gonna how it's gonna end. Okay, Mike. First off, C does auto pass out two on a three plus auto one on three pass out. No, he's good. Does Edwin wake up? Come on, Edwin. Yep. Yes. Okay. Not that you're hurting for guys anyway. All right, Mike. You're really. I'm doing a lot better than casualty wise. I think we're both playing a little bit easy mm -hmm. here. Set up to kick off. I need you to roll a uh, change of weather for the kickoff. So that next half we can actually. <laughs> okay. All right. Your turn, Pondo, set up. Mm -hmm. uh, 
Oh, what the heck? Okay. That looks good. Okay. All right, Mike, where's the ball going? I'll kick it right at Bate. Oh, right. you're not going to put it right in front of me? Deviate. <laughs> it's... Uh, that's off the pitch, uh... off the back. Right. So, uh, kick off a bit. Uh, it's another get the riff. This mob is not happy. <laughs> uh, Potter, who are you giving the ball to? Uh, <laughs> Leap a flatter. Okay. See, yeah. all these bribes are really <laughs> testing my resolve. <laughs> <Not family. laughs> all right, you can start your turn five, Pondo. Um, okay. All right. All right. Hmm. Let's do mm -mm -mm -mm. one, two, three, four, two, three, four. Three. One, two, three, six. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Six. That looks good to me. Right. I don't know my formations. All I know is the cage, and I don't feel comfortable <laughs> with the cage right now. All right. Mike's turn six. We have two bribes that get lost during the first half, right? Uh, that's right, yes. Interesting. Sonia is going to move. Yep. Good. No, she's not good. Oh, she's not good. Oh, she's a three plus, is she? Yeah, she's she's yeah, yeah she's okay. three plus. Yep. Okay. So gonna hypnotize garlic. Yep. Actually, I'll try a pro. It's a waste of time, but we'll give it a go. Okay, pro goes off, so yeah, got it. Oh, that's again. Yep, okay, she's that's fine. Good. Yep. All right. So try the hypnot, guys. Three plus. This is where you're all the one. Yep. No. Lana is going to move. Is it is it because he likes garlic bread? Is that why you hypnotize the garlic bread? Okay. So one, two, three, four, five. No. I was trying to figure out what you're doing. <laughs> well, I'm trying to get it so I can get through. With, I'm going to have to do it by sending her here and hypnotize less brutal block kick on a three plus. Yep. Instead of a two. Pro? I'll use a pro. Did you do the blood loss for her? No. Yeah. He, he didn't. It passed. But yeah, it didn't oh, pass. Okay. Blood loss, but it's failed to. Failed a pro. So Kleist is going to move now. Actually, not yet. Yeah, you gotta make your get your snacks close. This is a much less likely scenario. But okay, he's gonna try her move. Yep. Yep, good. Try and hypnotic gaze, less brutal block kick. 
Right. It's gonna be on the four. four plus now. Yeah. Of right. course, it's frozen. Yeah. No, you can pro that. I'll try and pro. No. 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 <laughs> okay. Adelhard is going to blitz right block click the dice. Yeah. So, friends, bloodlust. He doesn't have pro, so yep. he's going to bloodlust. Yep. Two. Hit right block kick. Should be two dice. Two dice, yep. Mm -hmm. Chain push. Yep. Uh, into, I think it's two dice down. It's five versus four, five, six. Yeah, he's, he's two dice down the block. That's okay. So, take, um, super taking the push, Bondo? Yeah. He has to follow, and you can't. So he's going to he fight anyone. So he's boneheaded. Boneheaded to turn over. But unless you do some handoffs. Yeah, you you, you push. He, he can't like that. That skink can't run far enough now. The only the only skinks yeah. in range mm -hmm. are these two. I think actually even this one's on six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight could get in. Does a handoff count as a catch? catch? Uh, you can use catch on a handoff, I believe. Because technically I can do it with two go for it if I get the handoff. Yeah. And a dodge. Mm -hmm. And a few dodges. Mm, no. Just one. Just the one? Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Needs to move off. I really, I could just do a push and then I just need to move Edmund out of the way. Mm. Just have to hope for the skulls while you're doing it. Mm -hmm. Do we need to open the Lost in Encyclopedia of Blood Bowl? What? The figure out if a catch can be. No, it does. It does. It does. It, it, oh, okay. Catch has a blood <laughs> hand. Yes. That's what I was waiting for. Sorry, yeah. We thought we was were waiting for you to get no, ruling there, James. Sorry. Um. Yeah, because if you hand off for three up, re-rollable. If I get him out of the way, well, really, it'd just be... Uh, so I can go one, two, push him out of the way, forward, move forward. Then it'd be one, two, three. Now, oh, does that mess me up? No, that doesn't mess me up. Yeah. Eight and yeah, two two ups. Mm -hmm -hmm. Uh, I really just need the push. Uh, and I can put him there so he's not actually in my way. So I'm going to do Blitz with Porta Block Kick into Edmund. Yep. Got him. Yep. Is that the Dauntless guy still? <laughs> yeah. Of course. I'm not, I was actually trying to pick on him this time. That that time was accidental. <laughs> I'm sure it was. Uh, that's sure through armor? Uh, that's through. through armor. That is a badly hurt. Badly. Hurt. You finally got him off the pitch. Are you, you uh, happy now? So you can record the casualty for Porta Block Kick. You're not uh, a potter in that one, Mike? No. Uh, and record the 10 for him as well. What's the season? Uh, Edmund. Yeah. Oh, okay. That that was accidental that he was the dauntless piece. It just <laughs> <laughs> worked out that way. Okay. Okay. So the way I work this out, it'll be three up, 
Two rollable. Two rollable for Butter Hansa. And then two two ups. And two two ups. You just uh, don't have. Just don't roll a one. With the team re-roll on the card too. I think. Uh, I need to do a couple things first before I forget. Uh, I'm going to move right block kick. One. Actually, just one two. I haven't got a turn. Oh, you don't. No. Okay, so I really, <laughs> I didn't start my turn yet. Whoopsies. All right. <laughs> uh, I guess it doesn't matter then if you don't have a turn. Uh, yeah. So three up. Hand off. Ha uh, hand off to but a hands -a. Yep. That's fine. Okay, hand off is done. Come on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Oh, sorry. Go for it. Nine. Yep. Go for it. Go for it. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So I score for Butter Hands. Oh, boy. That was oddly more stressful than I thought it would be. I don't trust two ups. Okay, so that'll be the end of the half. So let's just stress everything for the next half. So, Mike, see if uh, Otto passes out. He does not. Uh, no one else to come back in on your side. No one else to come back in on Hondo's side. So, before we go any further, though, uh, starting off in the Knights change room, in comes Wilhelm. Lord Hunger, probably not the first half you would have liked being the receiving side. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that initial kickoff, it hurt us a lot, but could have been worse. Um, no skinks, they're slippery. Tough to pin down. Yeah, there's, uh, the casualties aren't coming as thick as fast as I would have hoped. Yeah, well, it's it's a difficult game. It's a challenging game, this one. Um, it's always a challenge. So we'll see how we go. I mean, fingers crossed we can pull something out. In the second half, we can we can break away. Any change of strategy? Yeah, I think there will be. All right, but not not one about just until we sit on the pitch. Yes, you'll see it once you'll see it once it starts. All right, no worries. Thank you very much. And in the Quaddles change room, Mo, what a great place to be. Two up, or so two one, receiving the ball in the second half. Can you hold on? I'm going to sure hope so. I have the strong sense that my opponent's going to switch strategy, which. That usually tells me they're going to start fouling me. So we'll see what happens. There is, uh, no, the bribe's gone away at this point. Well, that's it, yeah, the, the two inch, the two injured officials have both returned to the match. Oh, okay. <laughs> but now, luckily, uh, the two <laughs> officials that got knocked out through the angry mob that's been going around that took Crag away from me that they they're back. So I guess there's that going for me. Uh, no, I is ultimately, yeah, I wish, I hope I can hold them out. If I can get another score in, that'd be great. But I, it's going to be hard to say. Right. It would be hard to say. But let's not say. Let's go and find out. Let's see how it turns out. All right. So, Mike, you're kicking off. Set up. Yep. This is where my ultimate betrayal happens. I know it. <laughs> you said that last drive. <laughs> you sure there will be an ultimate betrayal somewhere? When, when you hint at, yeah, I want to change strategy real quick. I'm going to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> you set up, Mike? Yeah, I'm set up. All right, over to you then, Hondo. Okay. No, oh, wait, no. Oh, how did I do it before I did this way? Yep, that looks good. All right. Uh, Mike, where's the ball going? A short kick this time. All right, deviate roll. Four to seven is back right onto Adelhard. Right, so again another another touchback. Yep. Uh, so kick off event is uh, brilliant coaching. So plus one for you, Mike. The brain in a jar of TJ Watson. And plus one for Pondo. 
both straight rolls essentially. Yep, you both you both get a reroll. Oh, okay. And why okay. are we doing this? This is <laughs> And who are you giving the ball to? Uh leap of flatter again. Alright. So you can start your turn seven, Pondo. In cool play. I had thought about bringing J Mo Jadden onto the field, but I think I need to hold off still. <laughs> what is not that bad yet? What is Mo again? Sorry, a, a werewolf. That's right. Yep. With uh, guard and block, and plus one strength, so yep. strength four. Uh, because he has a a, a gut essentially. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I also want to point out that garlic bar breath also has a gut. Because he eats so much garlic bread. Uh, He's carb loading for the big fight. Exactly. Yeah. I, if I don't win this, the playoffs, I'm going to try to win the most creative names, okay? <laughs> First year wasn't great for me. This year, I'm changing it around. Uh, worst part is, I don't think if I... I the first strategy only worked for me by chance, to be honest, but... It was a lot of bad rolling on my part. I could have blitzed that ball carrier. Mm -hmm. But you never I know. I mean, just... maybe my luck won't change. It would also be good if I knew proper formation. Uh, which I don't. I know castling, which I don't trust castling. Um, not a chess player. No, well, I just I know where you do like the X and then put your guy that has the ball in the middle, which to me always feels like that's not the thing you should do, because then they just get stuck behind everybody else who's already just ganged up on all your guys. Works best if you've got a thrower, and it doesn't work very well against vampires. Yeah. I guess, worst case scenario, I chuck the ball out of panic. <laughs> <laughs> the Chicago Bears play. Understood. Uh, okay, so I think... One, two, three, four. I was just saying, if it's stupid and it works, it's not stupid. That's, uh, yeah, that's the saying. But I, it's you know, it, something that works can still be stupid because it's always a question of is well, how long will it last? Is that everything then? Yeah, that's everything. I end my turn. All right. This is a very familiar looking. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's, you know, I'm going to the what's the definition of insanity approach, and well, I can't think of anything else better I can do. Why, why bunch up when you guys can just easily surround me, essentially? Sonia is going to move. Yep. See some ones. There we go. That's what I'm wanting to see. Try the pro. Try. One or a two. Hey, yeah. she can all that. Another one. No, she's okay. fine. Actually, no, you need a one and two with her, didn't you? Because you didn't clear yep. anything. Okay, so we're going to try and hit my guys. Yep, two plus. Dalek again. Nope. He's not hit my guys. You got a team reroll or? You did get an extra one. I'm definitely not trying to get you to use that real quick. <laughs> I will. All right, these okay. guys.
Lana is going to move. It's good. Tip not glaze. Less brutal block kick. Two plus. Where I fall. Yep. Yep, got it. Adelhard is going to... Um, it's not going to do anything yet. I was say, I think you're doing it. Uh, one, two, three, four. At least yeah, one time for it if you don't it. get him the first time. Yeah. He's going to have to go for it. Oh, there's also dodge slip in your path if you try to go that way. Ah, I see. You're... <laughs> I'm protecting it a little bit better just in case the same thing happens as last time. My plan. Adelhard is going to blitz deeper flatter. So two plus. Let's do. Oh, he's going to eat all. someone at the end. Yep. Okay. Three, four, five. Then so go, for, go it. for it for the first one. Yep, three dice. Push. You're you're determining if you want to go for the both down, aren't you? Determining whether I want to use my reroll here. Oh, that's also true. Yeah, on a four plus loader. <sighs> it's just not going to be worth it. So we'll do the push. Yeah, go for it. It's good. Uh, still going to be two, two dice. dice. Yeah, because he's got he's strength three. Yep. Take the both down. Okay. So armor off you first. That's not through. Nope. Armor roll on Adelhard. Nope. Nope. Yeah, so the ball goes. Mike. Or One but a hands up. Oh. One. Okay, it goes to there. Right. And that's a turnover. Yep. Mm. Okay. So end your turn, Mike. You can uh, to play just. Like... Oh, I was going to go ahead and start mine. There you oh. go. All right. So I'm looking at a. At least a possible two up. Now, let's see. If at best I could do. Three up to pick up. There, then three up handoff. Okay, so I want to do. I want to activate Less Brutal Block Kick, but not do anything with them. I'm going to activate Garlic Breath, but not do anything with them. I'm going to. One, two, three, two. I'm going to block with port of block kick into Oleg. Uh, is it two? Is it three dice? It's two dice. Two dice, yeah. I don't. It. I don't think I have six on. Yeah, it. no. it's only two. Yeah, we need seven as well. So. Yeah. That's. 
not one I needed. Uh, I guess they also just need this There. Although now, gosh, look, I want to do a, that'd be a two dice into one two dice. Two dice into one dice if he doesn't go down. Ah, screw it. I'll do it. Uh, right block kick into auto. Got him. Got him. Put him there. Have to follow up. Injury. Or I'm a, armor. Oh, nope. One. Okay. Uh, so now I'm looking at a three up to pick up, and then three up handoff, and then. Just one rush. One, two, three, four. Oh, I say no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Um, I'll stand up, leap a flatta. And two, three, four, five. Six. Why not? Uh, then put a hands up for one, three, plus. three up, pick up. Got it. Got it. Two, three up, handoff. Got it. Oh, got it. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Go for it. Go for it. He's in. Got it. Four for Dodge Slipper. That shouldn't have worked. It's definitely Pondo's luck that Arthur stole. Yeah. Uh, I, I guess so. Or did I steal his luck? <laughs> <sighs> All right. Mike, see if the auto passes out. He's fine. All right, Pondo, you're setting up to kick off. Uh, I don't have... I don't have Mulligan anymore, so there's no point of... Well, I guess... Hmm. No, I'm not going to worry about it. Okay. Okay. Right. Go. Where's the ball going, Pondo? I'm going to uh, land it on Kleist's head. All right. DBA roll. Four to four is one, two, three, four. And That's not ideal. Oh, no, he kick us on the last scrimmage. Yep. Event. Event, hopefully it's weather. It's not, it is a quick snap. So Mike, D3 plus one of your players get to move a three square. Three players get a free one square move. All right, and the ball bounces, Pondo. Two. Two. Yeah. So, again, that's, nah, I guess it's a little bit more ideal, but. All right, Mike, start your turn eight. Mm. Oh, you're doing the thing I don't like to do. Yeah, my team's not bad at it, but <laughs> <laughs> that's it. My team's not made for that. Okay. At least not in uh, not in sevens. Sonya is going to move. Yep. 
Kleist is going to move. It's good. Two plus pick up. He's yep. got it. Lana is. I guess that's the downside of this. I have. I got that into your turn, which isn't ideal. You can at least try to. You can at least probably catch up or tie it up. Lana is going to move. It's good. Adelhard is going to blitz, right block kick the dice. Yep. It's good. Is it a blitz about? Oh, you're going. Okay. Go for it. Go for it. <laughs> and the second go for it for the blitz. I'm in danger. Do I waste my reroll here? Nah, no, I don't. Damn right. it, guys. I'm a roll. Oh, yep, that's yep. fine. That's my go, isn't yep. it? <laughs> Sorry, fair. I was panicking a little bit. Okay. All right, Pondo, start turn nine. Yep, yep. Oh, can I stop you here? That's the real question. I don't know if I can. You're probably just going to hypnotize me to death here. Because you do have a set piece that you can just... More and more, I'm thinking of ditching Adelhard for another thrower or blitzer. The five one. movement really does kill him. I, I was surprised you didn't use one of your, your one free steps to move him forward one. Yeah. One free step? Like when he got the, the quick snap. Because the players that step oh, forward, that's right. they, they didn't move very yeah, far forward. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Still not really going to help, is it? Because I still would have had to have gone for it again after I threw the first block and didn't knock him over because I rolled shit on block. Yeah, there would have been a single dice. Fallen over there instead. Yeah. I'm do one, two, three. Move less. Real block kick there. Um. Actually, was that the ideal play? I don't think it was, actually. I think aggression is like, but no. No, because you're probably just going to hypnotize me to death anyway. Or not death. I don't know what you want to call it. Uh, port of block kick. There. Ooh, yeah. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Relic breath. One, two, three, four, five, six to there. Sleep of Fada here. Put a hands uh, here. Uh, dodge slip a uh, over. Here, which I don't know if will have any real bearing, actually. I don't know. I'm 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 fully expecting you to pull some not elven un vampire stuff here. So uh, I'm going to blitz with right block kick into auto. So one two two dice two dice. Got, it. got him. Got him. Um, going to back black. Not through. Uh, nope. Okay. That was less than ideal. That's fine. All right. All right. That'll be the end of my turn then. 
and nine mark. Hmm. Oh dear. I see that I stumped you a bit. Yeah, I'm honestly I, I didn't think I this have to get have a, to block, I have to get the thrice out of the way so that I can have a chance of scoring this turn because otherwise I have no chance of winning. I have no chance of drawing either, really. Oof. You can get a one dice on him. Yeah. Whether to be easy, but that's the That's the best I can do, but then that's gonna clog up the path for someone to actually get through. If you yeah, you need to I mean, yeah, I I I shouldn't coach. <laughs> no. <laughs> Henrik is going to block or to block kick. I am beginning to sense that maybe having not tiny is my crutch. Cuz I I was doing better with 3 4 strength pieces than I was with I don't know. I could be wrong. Yeah, okay. I can see a good I can see a good opportunity now. No, I can mm. I can't, but okay. <laughs> <sighs> I think it will involve a lot of rolling for you, essentially. Yeah. No, I, I can see. Well, I get because mm, you could since you got you well, no, you would have to waste a blitz with auto. I, I think James is seeing some magical path of least amount of dodging and then we are. Because I can see Lana doing, what is she, movement eight? Yeah. Oh, she Lana, can make it into the end zone. With set piece, I can get the ball to her in a turn. Yeah. yeah. So it's like if you can. But it requires, the only way I can see to do it is literally to just run straight through there. Because I can't see a way of getting rid of garlic beef. No, you put, you put Sonya here. And then you blitz into um, Butter Hansa. Butter Hansa. Yeah. And God. then and that gives you a, if you dodge out on a two plus, if you, if you get him down. Or a three plus if you... Uh, I don't, yeah. So be dodging out and then, yeah. And you've got all the thralls you need to keep all those players standing, except for if Lana rolls badly and ends up in the end zone with no one to support her. Mm hmm. Okay. We're going to blitz Sonia into Butterhanser. Mm. Okay. okay. She's fine. Got it. Set you up. Three roll over, I'm guessing. Yep. yep. Didn't need it. Two, three, four. Yeah, actually. In him. Yep. Two dice. two dice. Yep. You've got blocky, doesn't? Uh, 
Lucky down. It's a bit of a problem though because it's, it's going for that. Armor off. No, I'm gonna do one more move. Oh, you got armor, armor on before you do the move. Yeah, just, oh. yeah. You still knock me down. <sighs> Not through. No, no. The three plus dodge. It's fine. Got it. I think I said go for it to get me on that one, two, three, four, five to be six. Yeah, that's a go for it. You want to go for there, or you want to go for it where well, you're not dodging? Uh, yeah, that's probably a good idea, isn't it? Yeah. Let's get rid of the tackle zone. Yep, so go for it. Still requires a dodge. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're two plus agility. It's fine. And you have dodge. Yeah, nah, it's not fine. Okay. Moving? Yeah, do the blood loss roll. The blood loss roll for Lana. She's fine. Good. You're golden. So three plus three roll. Fine. Two plus three roll. Roll. Oh, okay. Seven, eight, and then a nine. Uh, yeah. Go for it. It's good. Ah, good. All right. Now, does he fill? If he fills yep. the bloodlust, would that keep him from scoring, or would it be fine? And we, 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 if, he uh, fell, if he fell the bloodlust, he just knocked out. Oh, you just eat the you yeah. just eat the auto. Yeah, got it. Yep. So we're we gonna do. Kleist is gonna do a pass. Yep. Using set, set piece. piece, set yep. piece. Okay, so he's fine. Yep. But I've still got to dodge because I've actually. No, you don't. It's all about, all about the accurate. Like you're not. You're not. Yeah, but they're oh. still gonna have a chance to intercept. Yeah, but it'd be on a six plus because it's an accurate pass. But you'd have to go. I don't know where. You, I don't know where you could go that you wouldn't be passing over somebody. You would have to go like way over there, which yep. isn't a possibility for you. Yeah, so we're just gonna do the pass from there straight to her. Okay. Because I can only realistically make one wrong. So who's gonna try and catch? Uh, leap of, leap of flat, I guess. Okay. Well, six plus. No. Uh, spin a. I can spin a reroll. Not your turn. Oh, Bang. that's right. Yep. You can use your coach reroll. Oh no. No, you, no I, I used that, that to try to keep, keep uh, a block kick, but yep. I lost. <laughs> lost the lost the mercenary, yeah. and that has been okay. That so, has been the so only it's a thing that's kept me in this. for Kleist and a touchdown for Lana. Oh dear. Yeah, no, I, I, that's like two hundred thirty thousand just wasted of inducements there. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so I have to prevent you from doing three turns. So I have to prevent you from scoring, get the ball off of you, and score just to tie it up yep. in what three turns? Three turns each. Yep. Yeah. All right, Mike. Well, you'll keep, oh, so roll the thing off. If I don't pass this out, come on, not I stay in it. He's fine. Yeah, right. the drugs are working. <laughs> Does that roll get worse at all, or is no? Just the, no, every time is it's it just three up to stay up. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. We just don't do drugs. All right. Uh, Except yourself. for this time. <laughs> Well, you're technically not winning, so. <laughs> yeah, well, it's okay. All right, so let's kick off, Mike. If I can keep this to a draw, I'll be happy. This is when you roll weather for it to be useless. Yeah, you're, that's it. For, for the, la the last drive has to be a weather change, so that, yeah, <laughs> Craig comes out to watch the final drive <laughs> without being scared of the crowd. Sorry, guys, I missed it. Oh... <laughs> uh... Okay, there we go. All right, for that point, though. Uh, yeah. Just gonna go for. If it ain't broke. Why fix it? Set up. Uh, boy, it's two back, I think. Okay, Mike, can you kick it, kick the ball on the pitch? Of course not. All right. Okay. Deviate. Deviate? Maybe. Uh, uh, no, that's one again. One, two, three, four. Just over your own line. Yep, fantastic. All right, kick it over again. Okay. 
Change one. Uh, nine is a as a quick snap. So Pondo, you get to move one d three plus one if your player is one step. Um. Oh, okay. I need to roll that first, don't I? Yeah. Three players uh, can move one step. I I really just need one. I'll be perfectly honest with you. There. <laughs> That's what uh, we do. Get that display. I mean, I go anyway, right? So. Yep. There. All right. Who are you giving the ball to? Uh, leap of flatter. Okay, and you can start your turn ten. Okay. Uh, what happens in a hike? Does nothing happen if it hits a high kick? If it's a yeah, yeah. If I've kicked it off and it's a high kick, nothing happens. Doesn't do anything. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Well. One, two, three, four. Ashley, is it more beneficial to be the one step back? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, okay, one, two, three, four. Four. One, two, five. Does this mess me up? Did I mess up? One, two, three, five, six. No, okay. Movement eight, you pretty much get across the field wherever, however you want. Uh, four block kick, one, two, three, four. Slash slipper, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. And a one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Okay. Well done. I maybe, I guess. <laughs> right. Mike. Over to you for your turn ten. Well, I did the thing I probably shouldn't have, which was try to fix something that was stupid. But was working. But was working. <laughs> Sony is going to block Blitz Dodge Slipper. Okay. How Good. dare you. Two dice. Got him. How could you? Armor roll. Uh, no. we, we roll some decent armor rolls for you guys. No, no. that's I, James. <laughs> that, that's, not, roll. <laughs> that's not our games, mate. <laughs> I I assume every time I knock someone down, I don't get the armor roll. I don't even know why I try to roll for it. Okay, so go for it. Mm. That's good. Yeah, I should have. <laughs> oh, I made mistakes. Plus, he's going to move. He's going to hypnotize Butterhanser. Uh, four plus. Uh, two 
yeah. three, four, five plus. Uh, no, because you, you, you don't count the one that you're hypnotizing. Oh, sorry, yes, yes, yeah. plus, oh. yeah, four plus. Yeah. No, okay. you want to pro I'm that? Sorry, pro. Three ups to pro. Okay, yep. Got the pro, four plus to hypnotize. No. Didn't get hit. Didn't get the hypnotize. Never mind. The only one you have moved is Lana or the Hard. Going to move Lana. Good. Six, seven, eight. Go for it. It's good. Going to hypnotize Butterhanser. Uh, so it should be just on three. three plus. Yep. Three plus. Pro. Try the pro. <laughs> no. For fuck's sake. Oh. And Vargas is going to move him. He's good. You're good. Mm. Done. All right. Mm. What were you hoping there for with the, with the hypnotizing? If you hypnotize butter hands, you can't hand off to him until he's activated to remove yeah, hypnotize. Yeah. So you can't give the ball to him. Yeah. That's and all right. Cause you already gummed up that spot anyway. So yeah. Well, yeah, but I shouldn't have had to have gummed it up with so many players. <laughs> <laughs> Should have had people uh, to be able to get into position to do other things. Yeah. I'm going to start your turn. Start my turn. Good one, James. <laughs> I'm going to Would it be stand up, dodge slipper? Stand up, dodge slipper. Stand up. Okay, there you go. Yeah, <laughs> just imagine Mo just throws a water ball at him. Like, <laughs> Being angry on playing, the sideline. Just playing dead. And it was like, get up. Uh, he's, got a, he's got a future in soccer, apparently. <laughs> Okay, so that would let me get a two dice into Sonya with right block kick. I guess the question is, would that actually mess me up? I'm going to move garlic breath. So do two dice, push, push. Mm -hmm -hmm. Yes. Uh, two. Uh, do right block kick into Sonya. That should. I should be. Yep. Two dice. Or Got we it. just knock her out from the spot anyway. Uh, over there. Have to move forward. Anna. That is actually less than ideal. <laughs> that is not through. She's a nine. Not through. Uh, that's that's entirely less than ideal. I'm going to actually blitz with less brutal block kick into Oleg. Okay. Two dice. What was my plan here? <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask me. <laughs> my plan was to was to hopefully knock him down. Because uh, if I knocked him down, well, you can knock him down on the spot. Yeah, but essentially, I was going to knock him down and move forward, Oleg. Or move him essentially either way. Uh, I'll knock him down on the spot. Okay. I'm wrong. Yeah. 
That's true. Uh, Injury? Yeah. This is that. <laughs> you still got three uh, movement left. What are you? What are you? Are you a? He's a four. Five up ability. Yeah, yeah he, he could. He could leap to here on a six plus. Uh -huh. Who has the ball right now? Leap with Flatta. Okay. Oh, okay. I could do. He can make it there. He's yeah. three plus, three plus, three plus. Two plus. <laughs> Two plus. Yeah. Okay. Those three one. pluses, one of them can be re-rolled for free. Yeah. Plus you got some re-rolls. Well, my thought was to be able to leap with Leave a Flatta over a unconscious body. It'd be less dice roll, technically. I don't think I I think I have to roll three three pluses essentially. One, two. Because I can't. Yeah, because if I went into there. I'd have to do still. Yeah. Well, so if you go yeah, if you go there lot. and then leap to here, that would it's, be a four I plus can leap, leap to there. Yeah. Doesn't that have to? Yeah. You, you, you oh, it doesn't have to be the direction. Yeah. It just can be whatever. Yeah. Oh, okay. I oh, know that'd be a four plus a five four plus leap. Four plus. Because he's got the leap skill. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I have two re rolls that I could re roll it with. Uh, and what's the chances of one of us rolling a one into a one? I mean, yeah. that never happens. Uh, so it'd be three up, four up. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's still a two. Well, I don't necessarily have to. Or you could do three up, three up, three up, two up. Uh, okay, let's. All right. So, first things first, let's do the three, three up. up. Before I get ahead of myself. Okay, we've done three roll. Okay. 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 That, one, that one's good. He's there now. But he's, he's done three <laughs> roll, two stop. So. You, you still got team re rolls, though. Yeah. I have two. I think I'm still better off just taking the two three ups, aren't I, at that point, then? Yeah. Uh, two three ups or a four up here. I'd, I'd say probably the three ups are better. It'd be two three ups that I could re roll, or versus one four up that I could re roll. Yeah. Well, the one four up is a 75%. The two three ups that you can re roll are two 80 something percent. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, I want to do it, but I'm going to regret doing it. All right. Three up. Three up. You good? Okay. Three, three up. up. Yep. Okay. Maybe it's a two up. And an eight. This is what's going to hurt me because I know it's a two up that's going to kill me. <laughs> no. Nah. You're not going to roll a one into a one. That's, that's my thing. Actually, I could have placed him better, couldn't I? Because I could. There. One. You've moved three squares so far. Yeah. yeah. One, two, three. I'm home free. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And that would take away from all those guys. Uh, although it does look like it's going to be a mosh pit onto Porta Block Kick. I'll go for it. Fuck it. <laughs> You're in. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll score for Leap of Flatter. Oh. Why is that stressful? Why is that stressful? All right. Mike does auto pass here. Yes. Damn it. Albus has to come on. No one likes Albus. <laughs> Setting up to kick off, uh, please, Pondo. Uh, set up for kickoff. Yep. 
I will set up the kickoff. So this will, is where you yeah. roll the, the, uh, the uh, weather for the kickoff yeah. event. <laughs> absolutely. Where absolutely will definitely not matter at all. Okay. Sal? Yep. All right. Mm, actually, I have to keep Kleist back a little just in case. Okay. Go. Where's the ball going, Pondo? You've got kick on the field. Um. That's an excellent question. I don't think I'm going to take much risk of it. I'm going to do here. All right. Deviate roll. So can you land there or land there? Land where? Land, 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 option? Yeah, land, where, land where you kicked it or land one in front. Oh, so it can actually land where you kicked yeah, it? Yeah, because you one half down to effectively zero in this case. Oh, okay. I didn't know if I thought it would just be minimum of one. No. Uh, I will have it land where it landed. Then. Okay. Where it land where I kicked it. You can prevent. Uh, it's uh, brilliant coaching. So D6, Mike. Total of five D6 for you, Pondo. Uh, this is I get four. Oh, we both, we both get a... <laughs> both get a re-roll again. <laughs> All right. And then the ball bounces. The eight, Pondo. Oh, okay. One. One. To the side. All right, Mike, you can start your turn 11. I have all these rerolls that I had to use. I don't like that feeling. I feel like that's going to come my way soon. Then he's going to raise it up to be part of his army. I'm gonna move Lana. And you've used your set piece, right? Yeah. 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 Use set piece. I'm gonna move Adelhard. That's good. It's not that I could either you or I could. Well, you could still score next turn. I can't score at all. Sonny's gonna blitz right a block click Joyce. Yep. Success. Go for it. Interesting. Yep. One dice. You just went got reroll. Yep. <laughs> you have extra rerolls. Got it. There you go. I'll drop in here. Won't follow. Hey, Anna. You won't. No. Kleist is going to do a pass. Yep. Use his pro. No, he's no, he's okay. I'll say might as well. He's good. There you go. Pick up the ball. Two plus. He saw. He foresaw the the one into a one. Yeah. Throw the ball to Lana. Two plus. And two plus catch. Yeah, got it. Completion for class. And that's everybody, so it's on to Pondo's turn 12. Yes. Three re-rolls in hand. I don't even know what I can use with this. That's like going home from Survive uh, with an idol in your pocket. Yeah. Uh, so you gave it to Lana, who could potentially hand it off into Sonya. 
Lana can make it from there. Yeah, and so can Sonic can make it from there. Sonic can make it from there as well. They would require not rolling a one. It would, and that is unlikely. <laughs> Especially since I've used my rerolls now. <laughs> I'm having this strong urge to just see if I can. What would be two? Would be a six up dodge. Wait, what? <laughs> Three, uh, <four. laughs> uh, sneaking in a source blocker in there. It would be a, uh, be a six plus dodge. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Skink might be a bit more of a better choice, but it would still end up with a uh, three. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> I've got three rerolls. Surely nothing can go wrong with that. Uh, hmm. Don't know, because you can just hypnotic gaze, essentially. Because realistically, you could just poke it down the side. I think I have to take the coward's way out. You could just let me score. I love how much Pondo is like over analyzing this play, which you know will not result in him losing the game. Yeah, I know. No. It's four two up. <laughs> but I suppose four two isn't as good as four. Right, so he's better yeah. than four three. Definitely the longest match of the round. I'm sorry. Oh, but we've still got we've still got four hammer to come though. Yeah, we've still got four hammer. It's fine. <laughs> Uh, that's true. That's, yeah. Uh, okay. I can't make it. I'm not going to be able to block into your Lana. You shouldn't be able to. <laughs> I shouldn't be able to. You probably can. A little bit of lucky rolling, you get some skinks in there and try and smack her down. I'm going to... One, two, three, four... Uh, wait, can I put him back down? I don't want to move him yet. No, that's fine. What was the button? No, I think that's him not. What are you trying to do? Is it two? Uh, I put him on the ground. Yeah. That's two. Okay. okay. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five. Which is a go for the I believe for me, isn't it? It is. Yep, he's fine. Okay. Uh, going to leave Leepa Flatter there. Put Butter Hands a one, two. No, let's not move Butter Hands yet. I'm going to put. Relic breath. Uh, one, two, three. Uh, right block kick. One, two. No, that's really one, two, three. Uh, leap of flat of here. But a hands uh here. Here. Dodge slip, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm going to blitz with right block kick into Sonya. Yep. Which I think will put me in a... Two dice up. Two dice. Two dice if he doesn't go down, goes into a one die. One die, yep. Yeah. Which is the risk I'm willing to take. So one, two, three, four... Five for the blitz push. Uh, fuck, might as well. I should start turn actually. There you go. This is where I roll double skulls. No, just push. push. Then one dice. Yep. And reroll. So reroll. <laughs> push. Not push. 
So either of the two squares. Um, you there? That's everybody, isn't it? That is everyone. All right, Mike. Final turn. Hmm. All right, use the two of them three rerolls there. <laughs> uh, did I have to do a go for it? Because it's one to move a space, right? Yeah. Where, where did he start from? Yeah. Because that was five to block in. Because it was there, one, two, three, four, five. No, sorry. One, two, three. Yeah, four, five, six for the blitz. Then for the yeah, so yeah, so go for the for the follow up. Uh, oh, well, you use that reroll. <laughs> Let's see. There we go. Okay, okay. no, I see. I used them all. <laughs> okay, now we're legitimate. Okay. Sorry, I I missed, okay. I missed that. I miscounted. I guess. Let's let's try and do this then. So we've got we got a mess. Sonia is going to throw a block against Garlic Breath. Two dice. Uh, so blood test, uh, bloodlust first. Is it two dice? Because yeah, she's got an assist from Henrik. Yeah, yeah but she's all, doesn't she also get a minus one for less brutal block kick being next to Albus? No, because it, it, he's he's Albus not helping. He's helping. He's not helping. Oh, okay. Yeah. It has to be right next to him or yeah. the one that's yeah. going for it, isn't it? Yeah. 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 So. Let's drop him. him here. He can, do you want to fend? I'm not going to fend you. Okay. I'm wrong. Oh, you're not going to follow anyway? Uh, uh, not through. Not through. My stinky garlic breath. Albus is going to block, right block kick the dice. It should be two dice still because it becomes. Uh, yeah, three, so four, five. Three assists. Yeah, six, six versus five. Mm -hmm. You can do either. In I mean, the, you could do either two. there, but that actually gets them out of your way. Adelhard is going to now block right block kick the dice. Yep. So bloodlust test. Of course, he fails. Um. I don't have any way to stop that. So, okay. Nice. So he's five, six, seven. Yep. So he's still, still two dice. Still two yeah, dice. you're just going to be two dice and two dice. You're good. Got him. Drilling will drop him there. Is he out of your way? Well, I'm, so, I'm roll first. I'm first. Nope. 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 Who's and trying? he'll take out Albus. Albus. Okay. Yep. I uh, roll um, injury. Just a stun. Stuns. You could. You've already used your. Have you used your blitz yet? No. No. No, I'm trying very hard to make it so I can get this done. I think. You're going to have to be doing some dodging regardless. I am. But what I can do is we're um, going to have Kleist Blitz Leaper Flatter. Oh boy. Uh, what are you going to do? <laughs> He'll try his Pro. Pro. Yep. Oh, you got the Pro. We've got to reroll the, the Bloodlust test now. Yeah. Yeah, good. It's yep. It's one. Two, three, leap. Three plus. Got it. Smack him with two dice. Got him. I uh, got it. Uh, follow or not? Yeah. Not following. Okay, I'm wrong. Not through. Yeah. 
I think what you should have done was I should have gone the other way. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. You should have hypnotized less brittle block kick and blitz with Lana into Butter Hansa. Butter Hansa, yeah. Oh, never mind. We'll just have to do it all dodges. <laughs> okay. Um, moving Lana. Yeah. Good. Yep. So one. Dodge. So it's a four, four plus. plus. Four plus, yeah. Dodge three roll. Dodge. Nope. Nah. Oh, dodge you go. one. Alright, I'm a roll punter. Oh dear. Nope. No, okay. And the ball, the eight's where it goes. Oh, that's that important bit for me. Fight out. One. Goes on to uh butter hands, who'll catch it on a four. He does. Okay. He's got the ball okay. when, the, when the whistle blows. All right, Mike, end your turn. Okay, and then let's just work out. You can both end match now. Okay. All right, let's go through and look at it. Wow, five players quit the teams. Not on my watch. <laughs> All only one I have to roll for is garlic. No, I don't, because that's his own skill. Before we get to that, let's just uh, start with uh, roll each for the um, uh, fan factor. Yes, mm -hmm. I can only go up on a six, I believe. Hey, went up. Yep. So put the six in, and then Mike, put your roll for yours. That's going to give me a buffer for whenever we get thrashed. Oh, that one. Yeah. I'm gonna get thrashed by uh, Austin here next round if I get him, which is likely. Okay, so now, um, Hondo, you see you've got nobody that's eligible to be drafted? No, because the only ones I had skills, because Porta block kick the thrice and right block kick the doser from last season. Yeah. And yeah. Garlic was, Garlic and the other skinks were uh, hired on. Okay, what about you, Mike? Who are your eligible to be drafted? Uh, my eligibles to be drafted are Henrik and Gustav, but I'm going to use one of my abilities, which affects D3 players. Yep. Um, stay with me. Yep. So one, one of them... One of them's treated as having one less skill. Which means he, he more a draft altogether. So we'll have... Gustav, ignore the draft. It's just Henrik I have to roll. Well, you got to roll. Then roll management roll. Management roll. Management um, first at plus three. Yep, it's fine. It's fine. So no, no draft today. Uh, okay, then. So uh, next will be skill rolls. So, Mike, uh, do you want to do a training roll? Yeah, we'll do a training roll. Plus... Three plus three, seven. So uh, means that you can do the first, and you've got you've got um, know the ropes. No, I don't. Okay, so uh, you... I'll just use my protege for Lana. Okay, cool. So we ran a primary for Lana on the thing. Bondo training roll. Uh, I'm just... yeah. No, sorry. I was thinking if if I should, could I like fire somebody then hire someone on? Uh, well, you try you, to do the renal then, uh, or is that after this? It's after this. It happens after all this okay. stuff is done. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, I'll try the training roll. Uh, Receive training bonus. Like plus two. Plus two oh, six. Right. Okay, so it means you can't use no the ropes or um, yep. not got my players. Um. Hmm. I think I just, uh, in that case, I think I just do ball drop it with a random skill. Random general? Yeah. Or are they, actually, they get general or they get um, only agility? The, well, agility. Okay. That's but, the only primary they can get. Yep. Yeah, so put just put ball dropper into, with the primary into um, to a play. And then you can roll... You just go you go random skill agility on the dice tray. Right. Random skill. Agility. Agility? There you go. 
Dog and cat. That is... Okay. Okay. <laughs> I... Is it? <laughs> <laughs> I I don't know. What was I mean? It's he can without a thrower. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> so he might get fired. <laughs> All right. So you can put in now your. Uh, so I think that um, it's part of you can't get a. Uh, I can't get a decline. So you can decline that. What about you, Mike? Yeah. What are, what are your bonuses up to? Um. So four dedicated fans. Two touchdowns is six. So I don't think I can. No, you would need. Uh, no, on a fourteen or higher, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, you would get a. Yeah, we'll try it. No, no. So you can decline that as well. Okay. Um, so there's a few other things I need to do. So first off, I've, it's XP. I've got um, Mike getting four XP and Ponder getting five XP. Okie dokie, four. Yeah. That doesn't put me over, unfortunately. I need the interception to put me over, I think. Because yeah. and... I think I'm at... I don't know. That's me. This will put you at 58, I believe. Puts me at 58. Puts me at 58 now. Yeah. I think we're both so exactly way... equal 58. Yeah, both 58, correct. I didn't use my coach re-roll at all. I haven't used it once yet, I don't think. All right, so uh, you can go into your teams and roll around the skills. I'll fix that up. I need to give Mike back 35k um, for the money he spent. Yeah, you shouldn't have. Okay. Uh, so, Mike, roll a D3 for your sponsorship money because it rolled you a three, but we'll see what you actually roll here. Uh, sorry, D three. D three. Yep. That's a three. That's fine. And then roll a D six to see if your player offends the sponsor. No, you're fine. All right. So we haven't rolled on school yet. Have you rolled your school yet? So he's no. given a dirty player. Can you change that to pro, please? Pro. Why not? It. Oh, that was the well. I guess it's not you taking your last one. That's well. I'm I'm going to assume you're going to be firing your Vargeist. Yeah, but I've got an ability that lets me get the money back for firing him. So yeah, I'm just going to buy something. So I'm going to fire Adelhard. Yep, and I'll need to add the money for you then. So what, what's your ability? The ability is the full value or? Yeah, abilities full value. Yeah. But not um, any abilities. He hasn't got any, so it yeah. doesn't matter. So, so you're getting rid of Adelhard. I need to add 150 to your treasury. And I'm going to hire a new thrower, which I'm not going to roll. She could do a random skill for him, I guess. Yeah, we're going to hire a new thrower yeah. with a random skill through. Is it through training? Management. Through management. management. Yeah. Okay, so let's draw mm -hmm. management. Seven. Ooh, that was close. Ten. That was close. Ten. Ten. Okay, ten's, ten is enough to get a, a free skill. Yeah, so what, what, what a primary for... Um... We're going to give him a random passing, see what we get out of it. Right. Cloud Burster. Cloud Burster. Yeah, you're getting fired <laughs> next game, <right? laughs> So uh, let me just add him on to the yeah. team. Uh, players plus one. Isn't that that you can just you don't get inter intercepted essentially? Yeah, because yeah, interceptions are such <laughs> such a common thing. <laughs> well, I mean, that's that's what popped up more as of late, really, to be honest with you. Okay, so I Artemy cloud... Lindenbaum. Or a cloud burster to him. Give him cloud burster. And... There you go. All right, you still got two ninety five k, Mike. So do you, any more money you want to spend, or are you taking the risk with uh, expensive mistakes? Uh, I'll take the risk of expensive. So it's a one or a two currently. Oh, you're fine. All right, Pondo. So let's see. You've done skill on ball dropper. What? Which was ball dropper? Yeah. Ball dropper who got dive and catch. Rather than the sprint, you sprint. You're already pretty pulling better. Dive and catch. Yeah. That. Yeah. All right. Um. Now you've got one eighty five k. You spending more money, Pondo? Mm -hmm. Uh, this is a question about next round. Would 
I'm guessing the other positions we don't pick aren't all, all eligible for random skills next time. Uh, that's right. Yes. Okay. Uh, because I was considering firing a blocker to try to. I I'm like I'm still on the fence about the block on the source blocker. I'll be honest with you, but I he's going to stay a little bit longer. Uh, is that the fender or someone else? The the one that's kick or the block kick to yeah. price. Yeah. Uh, if he didn't have stats, I'd already name him actually, but. <laughs> <laughs> uh, because he has one casualty. I think. I'll try to. I'll hire two skinks. Okay. I'll try to see if I can get his kill. Because if if they miss the next game, it's really of no major consequence to me. Yeah. Well, that's okay, that one definitely gets a skill. skill. So random, random agility. Yep. It's that defensive. defensive. Oh, I, I add the player to the roster so I can. Um... That actually, if you're playing against Lawson, that's actually going to be useful. Uh, so he, he has the guard pieces. pieces. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably wouldn't keep the guy after that game, but... No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then... Management for the second player? Yeah, management for the second player is plus two. Plus two, not enough, but he, he's, he'll still play, but no, no free skill. Yeah. Uh, because I think I'm firing the diving catch. Do I... I try one more time. Do I need the money? <laughs> Fuck it. I'll roll it one more time. I'm a gambling man. There you go. Yeah, yep. So, buying a third skink. Yep. You get. Maybe. Wait for it. Diving catch. Oh dear. Really wants you to have some diving catches. Apparently. Uh oh. maybe it's suggesting you should get a chameleon skink to pass the ball. Maybe. It's it's his only work for if you pass to it. I thought it was It it's... also also works for that catching the kickoff as well. Works for catching the kickoff, but that's yeah. yeah. And it's essentially it can catch to whatever a space is adjacent to it. Yeah, that's right. So exactly. you can catch on whatever space is adjacent to you, and you get plus one to catch at accurate passes. Mm, yeah. Mm. I'll have to think about it. They're probably going to get both fired. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> well, right now, right now, your team is at the team cap. You've got you've got eleven players right now. So. Well, I'm I'm broke now, so it doesn't matter either way. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm going to take us back to the studio. Ah, Lord Hunger, Mo, that was a intense match. Certainly high scoring, like I thought, but what happened to the casualties, guys? Um, just didn't have you watched how we played? Really good off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. Look, I mean, look, there were so many big scrums in the middle. I thought there must be some people, put some players going down, but it was always. Yeah, the bigger guys seeing the bigger guys and i think for the entire match i put two people on the ground so big casualties were never going to come from my team this match and the only casualty yeah. only casualty did happen went against you as well so yeah yeah uh mo congratulations on the win um surely a great result for your team what are your thoughts uh that was a very intense round i did not think that was going to go the way it went because uh losing crad was definitely uh it hurt a lot uh, but I guess in the end, I played better without him. I'm, I'm not sure, to be honest with you. And uh, that does put you in fourth place overall, although if the Drakes beat the Gladiators, you will get pushed down to fifth. Otherwise, you'll end this round in fourth. It's okay. I'm happy to get us all pushed down the rankings. Go <laughs> Drakes. Uh, well, as well. Speaking of which, uh, the Knights are now in equal ninth place along with the Raiders. Oh, well. It is what it is. Yeah. But just by the way, I'd just like to point out a quick observation here. Yes. With the exception of one round, it appears the gladiators have played last every single round. This feels a lot like match fixing, them being able to see what the score they need to get before they play, <laughs> you know, to get the most advantageous positioning. It's 
something that I have to wonder about, you know, these gutter dwarves getting assisted by the uh, the coaching staff and the uh, the officials of the league. Sorry, I thought, gutter, I thought gutter dwarves were halflings. Are you talking about Bungo Quickfoot specifically? Are you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, he's I, a gutter dwarf. I, I thought you were talking about the Amazons for a second there. I am talking about the Amazons. Okay. They're led by a gutter dwarf. Okay. Yeah. That's just verifying. I think the really only thing that matters if. Because if he ties, uh, he's still facing. I think he's still facing the Kodiaks if he ties. So a win or a tie puts him in the same position. Uh -huh. mm. Again, I mean, this I... round, it's not going to play out for him, unlike all the other rounds. But never mind. The, um, definitely I the uh, the Swiss be... format is harder to predict. The later you get into the season, as more and more teams have faced each other previously. Yeah, you have to get like to the, like the last one or two matches, essentially. Yeah, if he ties or wins, he faces the Kodiaks. If he loses, he faces the Harbors. No, he uh, he faces... Oh, boy, what is he face? No, I think he's facing the Kodiaks regardless, actually. Let's work it out on paper after after the show. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Gentlemen, thank you for playing. And to our audience at home, thank you for watching us here on Cabal Vision. We'll be back soon with more action from Round 5. Stay tuned. And out of character, you guys, that was a hell of a match. That, uh, <laughs> yeah. Some terrible roles, but you played really, uh, really well. You really yeah, did so well. So after that match, I'm fully expecting it to be just what raffle stopped for my <laughs> own roles, and that was that was all the good I had. Uh, no, uh, we we played as hard as we could, but you just I found it really hard to come back from you scoring on my receive that first kickoff. There was just yes, no way I was coming yeah. back from that. Put me on the back foot but uh that banana peel was essentially yeah uh, that was a, a free free touchdown <laughs> yeah never mind so mike for you it looks like you there's a few possibilities around your your level the scarabs you haven't played before the butchers you haven't played before the warrior police have you played them before no no um the revengers and i think you have you played the marauders yet this this um I have this played season. Yeah, this season. Yeah, you did. Yeah. 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 I've played a lot of the uh, tail end teams. Yeah. Mm. I think uh, I think it's Spoon against the Enslavers, no matter what. Because AP has faced everybody that's at the top, including the Drake. So. Let me see. Uh, and the Drakes have already faced the Scarabs, right? Uh, I don't think they have. Let me check. So let me. So let's put this out. So let's assume for a second that Fohammer wins. Right. So Fohammer. So the Gladiators would then play the Kodiaks. They, they haven't played previously. Mm -hmm. I don't think. No. And I'll I'll face the Harbors. Well, it, it works from the top down. So then the, so then the Harbors would go yeah against the Quidals. Yeah, and then AP will go against the Hammers because he's already faced the Drakes. Drakes. Yep. Then the Drakes would go against the Scarabs. The yeah, they haven't faced them. Raiders have already played the Knights and the Butchers, so they'd probably go against the Warrior Priests then. Wait up. Did yeah. you say haven't the Drakes and the Hammers already played? Each other? Have they? No. No, because no, 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 Spoon was stuck in draw limbo with you for a bit. Yeah. So that would mean that then the, the Pantraeus would play the Warrior Priests, Knights, Butchers, and then we need to see you know, with those last four teams, if they all play each other, that might start to come up the thing and mess up yeah. some of those lower ones, yeah, because... The main the main thing to be waiting for, I think, is... Oh, the, the what happens to the Revengers and Marauders, yeah. Because that could, that could change things up there as well, so... Mm -hmm. but I think the Race have already played the Fanatics. Um, no, they haven't. Okay, so the Race for the next match looks almost, almost certain. Yeah, that one's guaranteed. That, yeah. that can't... That, yeah. yeah, that's not changing. Yeah. So and you you played the Marauders, Mike. So that means that yeah, it looks like for you it's probably either the ever the Marauders played the Warrior Priests. I think they have. Uh, no, they haven't. Okay, so mm -hmm. it could be Marauders War. No, no, I think I already wrote that Priest going against uh, Pantra. Anyway, we'll see. <laughs> I'm going to stop trying to guess it. Uh, we'll let the last couple of matches play out. And just to answer your question, Mike, as to why Foam is always last, it's funny. He's he's got the most availability. He's like the easiest player to schedule. Um, which means I always leave him to last the schedule because I use him to fill in gaps. Uh, once typical. Else. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
I seem to remember one of their matches didn't get televised as well. Did the match even occur? I don't know. <laughs> I see that it's only happened to two teams, the Dwarves and the Gutter Dwarf. Look, mm. I, I'm, I'm disappointed that, that <laughs> the, the match with Spoon didn't record properly because I just wanted everybody to experience Spoon's face when I used a banana peel and a magic scroll in the same turn. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is, so whose audio didn't record yours my, my, my audio didn't record yeah. can you go through and edit in something i mean like i, I can do that with the with the um the interviews you have, but to try and do the whole game like the banter obviously is, it's it's not going to feel the right right you try and re-edit the banter oh. in. have so, you thought about using zoom as a backup yeah i probably should look at that yeah because the problem seems to be that anytime I've got so many audio devices on my computer. Anytime Windows does a, a driver update, suddenly mm. all the systems, like like everything changes to a different... Like even this morning, I joined um, Intro Hour or this afternoon for you, and, and no, I couldn't hear anything because Discord had defaulted back to just Windows default for both microphone and speaker. So, so you did check that we're recording for our... I, I have checked that, yes. Yeah. Yes. So. Okay. You just have to learn to be paranoid about that every single time. Yeah, that's yeah. it, yeah. <laughs> And... Start of every, yeah. <laughs> I had it to me once when I was recording my Wednesday night game, and I've never, I've always like, am I recording? Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so it's, I think I think it's like the third time it's happened now. And you already yeah. Uh, yeah. Has it? No, it yes. Can you hear me now? It's back now. Thing. Okay. Oh, that's weird. All right. Just say it's he was fine to me. Yeah. No, I think that was you following that, Mike. All right, <laughs> guys, thank you for playing. Big problems are everyone else's problems. Yep. <laughs> thank Thanks you, uh, thank you for watching us here on YouTube. Um, I said the, the next match is coming out next week. I need to schedule in Omar and Fiona still. I also need to play in Omar's, um, uh, Omar's Battletech thing as well. So, um, yep. yep, we'll see how things go. But anyway, we'll be we'll be back here with more soon. Stay tuned or come over to the Discord, AP Gamer Discord, and chat with the players there. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.